All right, I'm on the long yard to the job today. That boat that Tony's on out there in the distance is what we're working on. It's a super super aeronautique. When I get down there, I'll show you more about it. <sighs> it's a long walk. All right, we're back down here on the dock. Came all, you can see my blazer way back there. So, walked all the way out here. Um, we've done these skis before. I've not done this boat before, but it definitely needs a detail. So I'm hoping we can get that one scheduled as well. But we've got this Super Air Nautique right here. Super nice 21 and a half footer. So it's a Super Air Nautique 216. Um, as you can see, it's very oxidized. The owner tried to mess around a little bit. Got some results. Didn't want to do it. Called me. Uh, we are not doing anything with the interior as they are planning to, I think they're going to reupholster the boat, which is a great idea, um, given the age and the wear. Uh, so, this is where we're at. Can't see the other side, and you likely won't be able to at all because I'm going to get in there. I'm going to put my waders on and jump in the water. That's the plan right now. I did bring my floating dock. If that doesn't work, this looks to be four to five foot deep, so I'm really worried about it. But all right, I'm gonna put my waders on and see what I can do. But you see the uh, beginning of this situation. Tony's up there. She's gonna get the top knocked out, all of this edge while I'm in there doing the hull. So bring you back in a bit. All right, so I walked over here to this dock so I could show you the other side of the boat. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. You can see how crazy oxidized it is. Tony's in the uh, bow right there. You can see at the top, she's gotten some of that polished up, which is why it's all nice and black up there. But the rest of it is nasty chalky. Sorry, the focus is failing. So I have my floating dock on the other side. I had my waders, which are there. I was in the water trying to polish. I got the, um, the port side of the nose polished, but it was getting too deep and I'm only 5'6", so that wasn't gonna happen. So I could only get into about where the guide posts start is where I was about to take on water. So uh, I had to get out and blow up my inflatable dock and that's what I'm working on the other side with. I've almost got the other side of the hole polished. Uh, I've got a little bit of a section, probably about that much of the back on the other side to do. And then I'll be bringing it around to get the transom and then this side and I'll help Tony with the top side. So that's what's up. I just wanted to show you from this side what she looks like. Time to get back to work. All right, I walked back around now. You can see Tony got a good start on this front part compared to that. Um, I just did that little section with gel coat oxidation eater. You have the label. Let me see that label, baby. This product right here, to just turn it around, let me see the label. This product right here is literally the end all be all of gel coat polishing. It cuts like crazy and will remove down to 600 grit sanding scratches almost effortless effortlessly um, the other cool thing is it polishes to a very high shine it doesn't leave the finish looking dull this is a true one-step product without any protection so it will cut a lot polish a lot and leave the surface really glossy um, obviously anytime you're polishing with a rotary polisher you're gonna leave swirls and holograms and all of that fanciness uh, but we'll go over that with the dual action polisher Tony's actually using a dual action polisher on the top surrounding edge she's got the old Harbor Freight DA in there and then uh, the trusty uh, what's what's the uh, name of that hone I think yeah h-o-n-e yeah. Um, I bought that. I did a video on it. I've been using it for several years now. That thing is awesome, uh, but they don't sell them anymore, so too bad. All right. Well, you can see I've I've gotten to about right here, so I've polished all the hole there. So I've got about this last four feet I've, I've got to polish, 
and then um, I'll probably try to get some of this so Tony doesn't have to do as much if I can get to everything but I am gonna have to go around and try to get some of that transom done uh, and then around the side which is not a big deal with that swim platform being there so that's kind of cool actually Tony can get to that from the interior but um, I'm down here on my floating dock just moving around that thing fits perfect down there I'm actually gonna see if I can push that out of the way and then we can turn the boat around instead of me having to take my um, floating dock over there so all right well enough yapping time to get back to work but you can see what the gel coat oxidation eater and the marine series at detailjuice.com does and that's actually what I have in this black bottle right here is um, I usually use that one but since I knew she was going to be inside polishing the top and I needed my own bottle I went ahead and filled that one and gave her the other one so all right I'm back on it just remember what she looks like because when you see it again it's going to be shiny and black well I'm over here slaving away we got Tony Baloney in there just hanging out <laughs> Just, just chilling, enjoying the back of the boat while I'm over here slaving away, almost gonna die, falling in the water. What? What did I just, did I just tell you about the back of this boat? Hey, well, we don't want to tell our audience what you just said, but and just say it's that's a large area. <laughs> so it is what it is. Use your imagination. Or don't. So. Uh, I've got all of this. The whole bottom of the hull is done on this side which is the port side and then you can see how fancy and glossy all the black looks until you get right back here and you can see that definitive line with this nasty oxidation and no oxidation so all right well if i can get tony motivated <laughs> we might get something done today uh so i'm gonna get back at it because I don't want to be here all day, so I'm going to have to compensate. Oh, shut up. All right, guys. Four hours. Knocked her out. Boat looks great. Now, this job was just to remove the oxidation from the exterior. And we definitely did all of that. I got down on my little inflatable. See all that gloss? Man, this thing looks great now. I got as far under that transom area as I could there. We did the whole back end. It was super oxidized though. Um, see all this gloss? Looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna walk around these people over here in that house that owned that dock. Came out and want their boat done too so he has his getting some repairs done and then they're getting a uh, cover for their dock and we'll be back out here to detail their boat but get you a glimpse of this uh air nautique looks awesome all chalky and and gross before but now it's all glossy nice and black got that transom area looking good super shiny that's it all right so I'm gonna walk back over to the boat make sure we're good to go uh, and then we're gonna get paid and then I got to take my card over to This house here and then like I said They'll have us back to do their boat but Yeah, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. I Do not love being on that floating dock. It is very difficult to polish on that thing but the boat looks absolutely stunning now. All the gloss. So, thank you guys for watching. 813-846-4406 is my cell. If you need any detailing done, auto boat, RV, motorcycle, I'm your guy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.